Hey, how's it going? Let's see. I want to pick somebody I didn't play in the test video. So... I'm going to pick uh, Cody. This is my first time at... Uh, playing. Cody used to be a hero famous for saving Metro City. Bored with the peaceful life, he kept fighting day and night. Until he was jailed, one day he managed to break out of prison. Wandering outside, he now seeks something that will satisfy him. Alright, uh, first player we're fighting against, it looks like Jen, old guy. Do I beat up the old guy? Well, I think we're gonna beat up the old guy and show him who the fuck is the boss. Because if I don't, then who will, right? You know, and he seems like a decent fighter. He's kinda cool, fun to play with, so far from what I'm able to determine. He's cool, um... I could definitely get used to his playing as him. But, uh, for the time being, I just gotta get used to him. That's all. Boot to the face. Boot to the face. Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you can't find Cody. That'd be no good. What the fuck would you be good for? I cannot find Cody. Come on, here we go. So you can pick up that little sword knife shank weapon thing. But if you get hit, you drop it. So... Uh... To pick it up or not to pick it up? That's the, um, whatever. Just remember, this could happen to you again and again. Oh, here we go. Cody Travers. And, uh, next I'm fighting Adon. So he was in the Street Fighter 4 and Super Street Fighter 4. Uh, was he in Street Fighter 4 or just Super Street Fighter 4? Whatever. So let's see, uh... Likes starting fights, Metro City, Street Meet. He dislikes Hager's Lectures. Rivals, Rolento. Guy knife tricks, breaking out of oh, hobbies breaking it. Knife tricks, breaking out of prison, can remove his handcuffs easily. So why is he still wearing them? Um, this is his first appearance in a Street Fighter game. Well, now let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. Cody Travers is a video character from both the Final Fight and Street Fighter series. He has been fighting his way to survive the harsh slums of Metro City since he was a kid. Cody is a street fighter who before going, be, before being taken to prison, wore a white shirt and blue jeans with white sneakers. After prison, he now wears a variation of the prison uniform, which has dark blue stripes and has two handguns linked with a long chain. Unlike other prisoners, he intentionally keeps his prison uniform, as well as the handcuffs around his arms, though he can easily remove his handcuffs. Final fight, um, we're not going to talk about that, so, Alpha 3. In Street Fighter Alpha 3, Cody broke out of prison after a riot ensued. During his travels, he met up with Eddie, E, who is trying to recapture him, Rolento, and even Guy once more. With so much writing on my fist, this will not be my final fight. Oh, I see they worked his uh, first video game series into this. Rolento wanted him to join his militant movement, which Cody refused after a heated argument. It's unknown if they had actually fought. Guy, meanwhile, wanted to reform Cody and get him back on the good path, but Cody said that he was no hero and basically lived for fighting. 
The two then had their own battle, but after the two calmed down, Guy accepted the fact that his friend, ha friend had to live his own life. The two separated afterward when Guy asked if Cody would stay in Metro City, but Cody said he still had traveling to do. Guy bid him farewell, realizing that deep down inside, Cody is still a good person. He'd, he'd probably be in like isolation, otherwise he'd like sit there and kick everybody's ass. Cody's moveset is mainly based off of his Final Fight counterpart, similar to Guy, with some moves of his own designs added in. Uh, this is not St Street Fighter 4, so I'm not gonna... Most of his biggest weakness lies in mostly in his wake-up. Due to the slow movement, to add insult to injury, his defense is quite bad and the slow movement isn't any better. Resulting in being unable to get out of a pinch quickly, also he's very vulnerable when being pressured by an opponent. opponent's rushdown. Uh, starting with Street Fighter Alpha 3, his trademark attacks are the Bad Stone, in which he throws a normal rock with the force of other fighters' projectiles. Despite the low startup, it's handy in punishing opponents from afar. It can also be charged to play mind games, due to the fact that as long as you hold the punch button, he'll keep tossing the rock in the air for a moment. The criminal upper in which he throws an uppercut that releases a multi-hitting tornado that blocks projectiles. His ruffian kick is a charging kick attack that varies on attack level depending on which button used. Oh, hitting low, mid, or high. And the ability to use knife flying in the middle of the stage in all of his fights, which Cody can pick up by pressing the crouch and two punch buttons, which also can be thrown at the opponent by inputting the command for bad stone. Um, Alright, quesadilla bomb. I want a quesadilla. Oh, and am I, am I running out of time already? I already had three fights. Jen, um, Adan, and Chun-Li. I suppose that's three fights right there. Okay, well I won't get into his trivia this time around, but... Uh, for the moment, I do want to thank you for watching. I mean, it's awesome that you watch my videos, even though I'm not the greatest, but thank you. Uh, like my videos, subscribe, all that good stuff. I may have better better video than this one. After waiting so long, it feels good to do more than two moves. All right, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.